when I was young and in love, I thought nothing about sleeping in twin beds, crammed together arm in arm, nowhere to move, but I didn't care because I was in love. We got married and moved to a queen. More room, less contact, say goodnight and roll over. No problem, plenty of room in between. Then we moved and had more kids, so we worked our way up to a king size, rolled over twice just to say goodnight. Uh, then the sparks died. And it was all downhill pretty fast from that case on. The king was not enough. I thrashed and she snored and we both talked in our sleep. So we get twin beds on opposite sides of the room. We needed an appointment to have sex. And, you know, which wasn't too bad because we're still at least thinking about it. <laughs> and nowadays, it comes to when we have separate rooms and separate beds and we kind of leave this world pretty much the same way we came in alone <laughs> but let me tell you about this situation you know i've lived a long life three wives one good one that died on me and two clunkers seven children <laughs> and a lot of crummy jobs so when i got to thinking about what I could offer that no other person can, well, it's my life experience. I mean, people are asking me for advice all the time. Hey, JR, my kid's on dope. What do I do? Hey, JR, my wife's stepping out on me. What can I do? Et cetera, et cetera. You know, I've been telling people how to manage their lives for years now. So I thought, maybe this is my calling. <laughs> hey, I could put an ad in the paper or something. J.R. Starr, unlicensed therapist. No nonsense advice from the man who's seen it all. Hey, hey. And then charged by the hour. That's right. Instead of giving it away free. Like a consultant. <laughs> yeah. Now, in my retirement days, they gave me a bottle of champagne. And I said, well... I've been listening to all of y'all boring speeches for 40 years now. And now you have to listen to one of mine. A day like today uh, makes a man reflect on his life. And I've come to a conclusion. <laughs> I've wasted mine. 40 years selling magazines and shining shoes. And what do I have to show for it? <laughs> Arthritic knees. A gift card to the Emerson Fencing Company and a whopping 13 grand in the bank. <laughs> and for the record, I never really liked being called old Gus. Didn't understand it in my 20s and now I just hate it. So to hell with all of you. And screw LA. And screw your damn shoes. Yeah, that's where I feel about it. Didn't think too much of me all them 40 years, and now you're going to give me a rest of little old bit of cheap bottle of champagne? Look more like Ripple. <laughs> yes, it does.